Hi, this is Natalie Pollock for Natalie Pollock News Channel. Hello. And I have with me a candidate uh, in the provincial election for 2011 uh, in October. And um, St. Boniface. St. Boniface. See, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and his name is Brad Gross. 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 Yeah. Yes, sorry. And he ran for mayor of Winnipeg. That's right. And th that's, it gives you a lot of credibility. How did you do? Uh, I thought I did all right. How, uh, how, how? Getting a good response in, uh, in the Liberal election here for the Liberal yeah. areas in that, in that uh, St. Boniface area. And what are your policies for uh, this election? What do you think you can do and who are you running against? Making sure that uh, the governments uh, don't privatize anything. Yeah. You know, that, are, that are money makers. Making sure that the health care is done more efficiently and better and not so heavy on the top bureaucrats uh, as far as uh, management. Do you think you have a chance? I think I always have a chance. Who are you running against? Greg Salinger. Oh my goodness me, you really have take a lot to tackle. Yeah. <laughs> well hey, take I'm very proud of you, you for trying. Yeah. No, that's good. And you that you tried to run for mayor, yeah. which also I did and I failed big time. Um, and did you come one, two, three, four? Did you uh, three. 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 Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very that's that's excellent. You gotta keep trying. Yeah. You know, and tell me, what do you do for work? I'm, uh, I'm one of the top realtors in the city. And for what company? Royal Page. Oh, well, that's a good company. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do, so do I see your name on a bus stop? Uh, do you have a bus stop? Yeah, I have numerous bus stops and in St. Boniface right now. In for, for being a candidate? Yeah. Yeah, and then I also have some real estate ones uh, across from Polo Park, and kingoflistings.com is my website. So really, yeah, okay, so well that's well. good. Yeah. Well, that's good. You know, yeah. it's it's very important. Real estate is very important, yeah. and I think the economy of Manitoba is not too bad, right? Could maybe it could be better. The deficit's kind of uh, alarming, but uh, yeah, is that because of the NDP? Yeah, for sure. Overspending and mismanagement, misbudgeting. And you think if the Liberals got in, they would be able to manage money better? Well, I don't, I don't really think, in all honesty, the Liberals will get in. I think it will be a split government, but I think if you get enough strong, common-sense voices in there... Do you think it will be a minority? It will be a more minority, I think That's so. interesting. Yeah. And you're the first person that I've talked to that has said that. That's very... It's going <laughs> to... It, I don't know if it's going to be tight, though. I think, it's, I think it's going to be a three-way race. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, what do you think... How important uh, do you think is, uh, is the coming of the Jets going to play a part? Well, I mean, the Jets just put us on the map as one of the major cities in Canada. Uh, but know. Greg Salinger, you think, was pretty responsible. So that's going to well, happen. I think Mr. Chipman was more responsible. Uh, you know, he's the guy who's backing it. Uh, Glenn Murray was the guy who built the, the arena, who's a liberal. And, and that's, yeah. that's the reason that who the Jets Who used to are be back. an NDP. <laughs> well, I used to be a conservative when I lived in Alberta. <laughs> oh, really? Where are you from Alberta? Well, I lived out there for 15 years. Where's so that? I was in Edmonton and Calgary. Oh, which is yeah. better? I liked Edmonton. It was a little similar to Winnipeg. Yeah. yeah. What made you come to Winnipeg? Uh, family. Family and really? friends. So you're Beautiful staying weather. here? Are you no a Frank mosquitoes anymore. I shipped them all off to Edmonton. Are you a Francophone? Like, uh, a, do you speak French? I uh, used to. Oh, okay, the, but you're the not. parents do, and the family yeah. does. I just uh, haven't uh, kept up to date. Uh, so you predict a three-way race? I think so. I think there's going to be some uh, areas that are liberals, some areas that are going to be NDP still, like, you know, Transcona, where the unions are, and then some areas that are going to be PCs. So you make a prediction of a minority government. Yeah, that's why you got to vote for a strong voice, because then that strong voice will give the people of Manitoba a better opportunity. Do you want to someday be premier of this province? Well, one step at a time. Do you ever want to go for it? Uh, I want to be mayor. Uh, oh, you want to be mayor? You know mayor? that already. <laughs> yeah, I failed at it three times. I'm really good at failing. <laughs> you know what? With Running failure for mayor, comes success. And with failure comes success, and I had a great time and met a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. And took a lot of abuse. <laughs> you know, and I'm in sales, so I got tough skin. Yeah, see, I had a very thin skin. It really <laughs> demolished me at first. But now I like being on the other side. You know, uh -huh. I, I, I doubt very much will it whether I'll ever run for politics again. <laughs> I don't think I can stand it. <laughs> but uh, it's so nice meeting everybody. And, right you know, and thank you very much, and good luck in the election. Awesome. Wow. Thank you. Natalie Pollock for Natalie Pollock News Channel.